Richard do take two. The film Beast of Waters. Or Beast of the Water. Native American monster kills stupid white man. No, not really, but sort of like that. Anyway, since we are talking about a, uh, a movie that does have an environmental message, let me remind you all that for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean, and 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash out of the ocean for every bracelet I purchase. Now, guys... The needle has been stuck at 2,000 subscribers for a very long time now. And 4Ocean is clearing out its inventory. So this is a really good time because I think they really need our help. So, you know, again, not for my sake, but for the planet. Could you please comment on this video, like it, and perhaps share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already because... We have a planet to save, and we're all on this big blue orb together. I have an itchy nose. Ah, nose itchy. In any case, so I have recently watched on Amazon Prime the film Beast of the Water, which was originally titled, and I am not going to get this right, Anuati. Sounds Hawaiian, doesn't it? Anyway, so this is getting a 3.2 out of 10 in the rating scales for IMDb, which is really just a crime because it is a much better movie than that. Now, I don't even see a rating on this thing. And it's, you know, kind of in the middle. There is some solid gore, but it's not gratuitous. So that's... Oh, I have another itch. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Anyway... So there is some solid gore, but it's not gratuitous. This is a movie that basically... I mean, you know... You know what's going on from the hook scene, because in the hook scene, you see a bunch of uh, Native Americans get killed by a bunch of white settlers, and then, you know, the Earth kind of says, Uh-uh, not on my watch. You will all die. Mother Nature is not always nice. In fact, she's generally not very nice. And we should stop pissing her off. Seriously. Do you think it's a good idea to piss off your mama? Well, she's everybody's mama. In any case, this is kind of a misleading poster. I don't know if I can give you a better one here. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can show you that instead. Yeah, there you go. There is our beast profile shot get some kind of a chart tribal marking uh george murdoch i believe is some kind of a uh celebrity uh michael hunter as well you know these are all i think these are wwe people or something but i don't know i don't really follow that but the point being here is a movie that has a deeper message, and that deeper message should give it some points. And that is that we need to find a balance with our environment. So whereas, yes, I enjoyed this movie very thoroughly, and I recommend it for all of you, I think that you should definitely put it on your watch list. It's not a bad film in any rate. Again, I think that it's it's got a kind of importance for us to watch, because it it does show that message. And we just... I know it gets hammered home by Hollywood, but it, it's important. Why? Because you know what? Look, I live in California. California got set on fire. I don't like being on fire. I'm Richard. Greetings, humanity. I'm Fred the Facehugger here, and I'm here to remind you that Richard, the owner of this YouTube channel, wants to help the world. That's your world, not my world. He's trying to get trash out of the ocean. And he can pay for that only if he gets monetized. 
So do yourself a favor, like and comment on this video, and get your friends to subscribe, or else terrible things will happen that I will not have any control over, but then my species will take over the earth. So, yeah. Up to you, worthless, apathetic, but, you know, easily face-hugged human. Fred out.